Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to extend your sky cable so you can move your television to the other side of the room and have the cable so it's installed professionally. Let's go. So first of all let's talk about the kit you're going to need. First thing is some trunking and I've opted for this D-Link micro trunking right here and I've got it in two colours. I've got it in white so it fits in with the skirting boards but I've also got a fireplace so I've got some black strips as well. So the second part of the kit you're going to need is some bends and what we've got is some of these ones and these are inner bends in white. I've got some ones outer bends in white as well and then also some black outer bends as well for the fireplace. So with that combination you should get a nice finish around the corners as well. So just for information the trunking I'm using is the micro D-line 20 by 10 trunking right here and it should be fine for this extension cable I'm going to be using here for this skybox extension right here and it should fit fine. So now that we've got the kit, let's get to fitting it. The only tool you're going to need for the job is a mini hacksaw like this and this is just to cut the trunking down to size. Now the beauty of the D-Line micro trunking is, is it's self adhesive and it's up to you however you want to fit it. Now you can have it at the top of the skirting but I've opted to fit it at the bottom and the way you fit it is this way down so you can actually just put the cable in there and then just snap it in from the top. And I've also done it at the bottom because I've got a fireplace I need to go around where I'm going to be using the black trunking like that. So that actually blends in with the fireplace at the bottom here. So that's why I've opted to go for the bottom and then I'm going to be using the inner bends just on here to get in there. So let's go ahead and go and fit the other pieces and I'll show you how I've done the bends as well. So here we are fitting the cable into the trunking and it fits nice and snug. And it doesn't really matter what colour the cable is because it's going to be hidden by the trunking anyway, so that's fine. So once you've got the cable in, you just need to click this trunking in place like this. And you'll just get a little click as you're going along. And just do that all the way along. So in this part, we've got a corner, which we're going to put an inner bend on like this. And you want to make sure that you do it with the lip on the top bit there, just going in like that. So we're just going to go ahead and clip that on. So this is just near a fireplace and as you can see, the inner bend fits nice and snug right there. So there we go, we've got a white one on there. I mean, you could choose a white or a black inner bend, but I've gone with a white one because it just blends in with the skirting board like that. But that's what it looks like. So the next bit is an outer bend, which is just along the bottom of the fireplace right here. So again, make sure that you've got the part where the lip is on the top and we're going to fit it so it just goes nice and flush with that corner right here like that and that's what it looks like when it's finished looking good so there we go that's the inner bend from the skirting board to the fireplace then we've got black ducting that comes along the bottom of the fireplace along there and just there we've got an outer bend it's all clipped in place nicely, got to the other side of the fireplace right here, another outer bend there and then we've got an inner bend right there which is in white going along, we've got more trunking in white to go along the bottom on this side. So this is another corner where we've got two pieces that are going to meet right in the corner and I've just used another inner bend on there to connect that, so we'll carry on. So there we go, the job is complete, got the trunking fitted with all the inner elbows and outer elbows like that. So this is where the televisions are going to go on the other side of the room. That's where the trunking ends and the cable comes out. So I'll leave a link in the description to all the parts I used. As you can see, it's a really good finish. You wouldn't even notice there's trunking all the way along. So you could do this on the cheap instead of using trunking by just putting a wire around door frames and using nails to get them in, but it doesn't look very clean and tidy. This is the professional way of doing it. So I'll leave a link in the description to all the parts I used. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.